You can combine shapes in all kinds of different ways in Affinity Designer. You can also apply contours and much, much more. So how to do this? First thing to do, just quickly go and create a rectangle. You could use any other shape, perfectly reasonable as well, and create another rectangle. So I'm just gonna have two rectangles. So two rectangles selected, then select both those. So both are selected, that's the key thing, because then you can go to layer and create compound. So create compound, you notice there's also a compound there. There's nothing in it, so I'm just gonna delete that one. So you can expand it out, and you can see you've got that rectangle and that rectangle. And when you select it, you can see as you do that, they're selected, that one there or that one. However, you will notice in this compound, there's also an option here, just a little plus. But you can click there and you can say, add, subtract, so you can see it cuts away from the design, or intersect, and you can see it intersects between the two shapes, or XOR, like that. So you can create a variety of different designs just by using this feature of XOR, add, etc. But also, it's still live, so you can still continue to move it around, reposition it, move it like that, resize it, and so on. So you can create a variety of different designs using that. However, what you can also do is you can select compound, go to the top level, compound there, and then go over here to the this feature. This is the contour tool. With the contour tool selected there, what you can do, you can then just increase that or decrease it. And you see, as you do that, it just changes. And that radius value can be changed here. So you can just change it like that, or you can do it interactively. It's up to you which way you prefer to do it. You've also got types as well. So you've got this option here. You can go click there or click there. And as you do that, you notice it changes. Very subtle changes, but it will be obvious more with some shapes than with other designs. And you can see you've got options here. Also, the second item, that's probably the most interesting one. Click there. And then you get this design where you've got this round the edge. And again, you can click there and you can see again the result. That's obviously a nice rounding. You've got that one there get a nice sharp edge, etc. Again, simply select this. You select that shape, go to the move tool, and you can move it around. As you reposition it, you can see it just changes all the way around like that. What you can also do is you can go up here to the compound, again, select the top level, and there's a little FX just there. And you can add a style. So if you want to, you can add a style. So maybe you decide, you know what? I want to have a nice bit of shadow. So you can go here, you've got outer shadow. So click there, outer shadow, and you can change the radius. And as you see, you increase the radius. You can see that blur just extends out. Nice darkening around there. Also, you can add offset. So you just shift it slightly. So offset, just, and you can do that, move that there. You also know you've got angle. So you can change it around. So you can see as you move the angle, you've got the offset. And it just depends, obviously, on the angle. So you can move that around. You can see it just changing there. And also, you can modify the intensity. Obviously, I prefer to have it at 0%. But if you put it up to like that, it's a lot sharper. So it's probably nicer intensity, a bit lower value. And that's applied to the whole design, that whole compound. So you've got that just applied there. You can't apply it to this one individually. So once you've done that, again, you can still select this design and you can still modify it. As you do that, you can see what happens. The style will change as well. So you that, move that, all that around, select that design, rotate it, etc. You can also, if you want to, at any point, click again, maybe decide, you know what, I want 3D. You just go here to the radius, push the radius up. Now, I've done it wrong. What I want to do was this one. If you do anything to this one, it doesn't make any difference. You can't change the color, all that's change if you go here. You can make this go to green, so click there or red, you can change it there. But if you change it here, it doesn't have any effect. So key thing, select the compound, then go to effects, and then go for 3D. And then when you change it, you can see then you get the 3D effect. So that's the key thing. Just don't try and change it with that one or that one. Won't make any difference. Well, what you can do, still select this one, and you can still continue to modify this design, just move it around. But also what you can do is with that selected, 
hold down the alter option key or right click and duplicate. You can duplicate just by doing right click on that one. But I'm going to hold down the alter option key and duplicate. And you can see what happens. It generates another shape. And you can resize this one, move that around, reposition it, move that one around, pushing it there. Hold down the alter option key again, and you can see with that, you can move that around to there, and so on. So you can build up very complex shapes, very simply, just by doing this, moving this up and down, reposition it. And for each of these ones here, you can change this value here. You don't have to keep it as you had it before. You might decide, you know what? I don't want that one. Maybe I'll go with add or subtract. And you can see as you change that, it will obviously modify the end result. You might decide, you know what? I want for add for that one. And you can resize that, move that around, still continue to manipulate it. Hold down the alter option key. And you can see that also ends up with the plus as well. It inherits the last value. So you can move that around, reposition that, move that down there and so on. So you can create all kinds of different designs. And again, with that, select the whole thing. So go up here to the compound and you can resize it, reposition it, change the stroke. And again, it's only for the whole design with the compound. No point trying to change it elsewhere. So just reduce that down there, maybe go for a slightly thinner like that. But what you can also do is you can duplicate this. So this compound can be duplicated. Hold down that and you've got that duplicated. And you might say, well, I can now select both those. Is that the same as before? Go to layer menu and create compound. So you can create a very complicated design just by doing this. Now you might have to tweak this design here. So go to the contour again, maybe just decide, you know what? I don't want it like that. Just change it, decrease, move that around because sometimes the result isn't so great. And you can see just by just changing it and maybe go to the effects and change it there. And again, just reduce that down. It might just be a bit too much otherwise. So you've got your design there. And again, you can still select all the individual parts. So you can always still go there to that rectangle or this one and just change it. And as you select it here, it will display here. Go over here to the move tool and you can move it around. As you do that, you can see what happens. It just changes for everything. Everything, the shadow, the 3D, all of it will be reflected, just moving around like that. And again, you can always then select all that, rotate it, redesign that, modify it, tweak it, go and change the game. Go up here, contour, and tweak it again. Go through there, decide that one or that one. Just try them out. Maybe go for rounded, and you can then just modify that, and it's all still live, just running through these things. Hope that this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.